Brad, Erica, you're getting a live look behind me at 67th and South Shore Drive where there's still some mild flooding, but we are here at its worst for hours. The winds picking up, churning those waves that were just pummeling the lake wall. These are the steady waves that suddenly turned sidewalks into streams. Roughly 10 foot waves easily. Ever seen anything like that before? No, not in, not in the city of Chicago. This is my first time seeing that. City crews worked in freezing temperatures, snow, and water that was about a foot deep for hours. They brought out pumps. Police closed down a block of South Shore Drive that borders the lake. Dozens of drivers had to find a new route. Yeah, my truck's over there. But oh, Thomas okay. Lynch had a close look at the mess as he carried on his work. It was pretty bad today. Crews tell CBS2 debris like leaves that blocked a roadside drain caused all of this. They used the pumps to divert the water to a main sewer. The large puddle slowly went down, but the steady overflow from waves whipped up from that wind just made it that much harder to control. It looks like they're getting the job done. As Mother Nature shows her true might. But thank God that they're getting it done now so it won't freeze over. And we're already starting to see some slick spots as those temperatures drop. Part of the southbound lane of South Shore Drive is still closed. Crews tell me they're going to be out here until those waves calm down. Live on South Shore Drive, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News.